Good morning and welcome back. Today is our last full day on this cruise tour and honestly can't believe it. Woken up, looked out the window, there's land. <laughs> After a few days at sea, it was a very, very exciting sight to see. And we didn't get woken up by the ship coming into the port. Which yeah, is... exactly. So earlier in the week, every time we were arriving at a new port and um, in Morella, they do a lot of their travelling at night, so you wake up in the new ports. But we were waking up in the new ports definitely as soon as we got anywhere near it and the engine started to whir up or the anchors were going down or whatever boaty things were happening. We were hearing about it and we were being woken up. This morning, didn't have any of that. So when I did wake up and I was lying there, I was like, oh, dare I? Yes, peel back the curtain. And there's land. There wasn't actually a ship at that point yes. either. <laughs> We are in St. Lucia, so we are due to be here for a full day, so it is now just coming up to 8am and I think we can get off the ship very shortly. <laughs> we hadn't originally booked to do any excursions today, we were just going to take it as it comes, explore the port um, of Castries and maybe head to like one of the local beaches, however as you will know with uh, a few islands dropping off our itinerary and not being able to do one of the other activities that we had booked for there, we decided to actually just book something today just to make sure that we are making the most of the opportunities. So we're going to go on a, a catamaran or boat tour this morning. It is arranged through the ship and actually booking it was really easy, probably too easy if you like get carried away, control yourself. Taking us out around the coast to go and see the pitons also going to uh, a beach and a bay and a swim. So that size for four hours. I think lunch is included as well. And then it will drop us back into the uh, into the port. I found we can have a good explore of the shops and the local little town area. Um, I don't know if there's another Bath and Body Works. If there is, stay tuned. <laughs> His face. <laughs> I will probably die some more yeah. stuff. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Is your spider sense tingling? And you're like, you know, we need to sum mm. up. I've got this money that we've brought with us that in my head is spent. is spent and because we've not been anywhere, like it's still yeah. there. So I mean I'm sure I'd spend it another time, but you know, you kind of like think, well, I might as well treat myself to something. Yeah, very true, very true. I mean I'm I've got a good like hundred and fifty dollars in my wallet today, just in case. But that still is gonna mean I'm going home with about two hundred dollars. Which um we only bought like four hundred, four fifty with us. Eating out when we have been in at land, which is like a long time ago, and a drink and little, little bits and pieces, nothing massively extravagant. If, but if I go home with $200, then that's $200 towards our Florida Disney and Universal trip next May. So that's the plan for today. Excursion this morning. I think we're doing the, I think it's called the Spectacular St. Lucia excursion. You were just saying, so sail away tonight is? At 19.30. So oh, yeah. we've got like, what time is it now? Eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we've got yeah. nearly 12 hours here, so. We'll probably be in bed by the time it comes to sail away. Yeah. <laughs> and then of course, we'll be making our way uh, this evening on the ship to Barbados, which is where we'll be disembarking tomorrow and then traveling back home. But that is not today. So uh, let's get going and see how St. Lucia treats us. Upon the return part of the tour, we are going to be closer to shore, you'll have a better view. Ladies 
ladies and gentlemen, the moment you all awaited, it is here. The PTP tour is considered to be a celebrity simply because it was featured in the movie Superman Part 2. And as a result of this act, the best of the PTP tour is a dive side named Superman Grant. Off we went on our catamaran, sailing around the south coast of St. Lucia. Uh, our tour guide Candy was excellent at pointing out uh, local attractions and facts along the way. And then in the distance, coming into clear view, we saw the two uh, mountain plugs of the Pitons, which is... <laughs> our guide did explain that there is a hiking trail up one and the other one you can climb as an experienced climber. Neither of which are going to happen from us. So I know Dave would love to go and climb them, but we just, unfortunately, we're only here for a few hours. We haven't got the time. So throw yourself overboard. <laughs> Don't have <tell me. laughs> It did cost us £71 each, and it was on the Spectacular Pitons Experience, I think the uh, tour was called. You got free soft drinks on the way out, and then soft drinks and uh, rum punch on the way back after the swimming slot, which I, I understand, you know, people get carried away, don't they? Can't necessarily control themselves, so... What? We pointed at me. Why would you say that? Because occasionally it does happen. Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> we've then come back to the ship, we've had a quick freshen up, and now we're going to head back off the ship. So it's a bit backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, but thank goodness we are in a dock. Is the dock the right word? Bar. Bar. They used on the um, yep. announcement, didn't they? Yeah. I don't know what there is. Yeah, dock. Dock, bar. So thankfully we are attached to the land, meaning that we can just get on and off as much as we choose to, so we haven't got to worry about a tender ship taking us back and forwards to the ship. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm hungry now. Oh, well, there's a surprise. I've had toast this morning, and then a triangle of bread and cheese on the boat. Lie. You had two triangles of bread and cheese. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, should be full. <laughs> yeah.
over the last day or so, they've started to put the Christmas decorations out. And obviously, like, I think these vlogs are probably going to be starting in January, so it'll be past Christmas. But you could be really excited for next Christmas. Um, or you may be looking to see what they do on a cruise and how it might be decorated. So we're sat in the coffee port just having a little cold brew. And yeah, it's looking nice. We've got some lovely gold trimmings up and plenty of trees appearing around. So I'm sure uh, by the time that we get off a ship tomorrow, it won't be all done. But we'll, you may start to see little bits of Christmas appearing in the background. And it also makes me excited because obviously we're off to Centre Parks at Christmas, which you will have seen if you've watched those vlogs. And if you've not, then there'll be a link at the end. Go and check those out and see what Christmas is like at Centre Parks for Dave, myself and Harper, our dog. So we're now going to sit and enjoy the cold brew, enjoy the air conditioning, and then maybe go to the pool deck, jump in for a little dip. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm up for that, although I do feel very tired. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully this will sort me out, although I have nearly drank a little bit and it's not doing that much for me. Yeah. We shall see. Good evening, and we are back in the room. Tonight we made it to one of the onboard shows, the first one of our trip, not counting the stand-up comedian. Um, so it was like a movie medley musical thing with lots of singing and dancing. We have also got all of our bags packed, very sadly. Something that's new to us is that we have to put our cases outside at, by 2am. The cases then go off separately to the airport, get loaded onto the plane, and we should, all being well, see them in Birmingham. We also paid £45 to keep the cabin, and we've now got that cabin until half past two tomorrow, and we actually need to be getting off the ship and onto our coach at 2.45. We did go to reception on our first day to request it, so it's only limited numbers obviously. That's uh, making a big difference to us because it means we can go out in the morning in Barbados, hopefully have a little swim, and then get back into the room, showered, changed, and be ready for travelling. So, anything to say? I need to go on the diets. Oh god, that's a very happy note to end on. Anyway, I can't stay talking too long because I think casualties on and I'm probably gonna get in trouble if I don't stop soon. So uh, we will vlog again tomorrow, see what we get up to in Barbados in the morning and then our travel back from Barbados back to Birmingham. So uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Okay, this isn't casualty. I had to go to a show and now I'm just casualty. Oh God. <laughs>